In this exercise, we're going to generate a trip close circuit. We're going to start off with the trip circuit, which consists of a phase IOC protection element and a remote trip with a virtual input. So we'll start off with the protection element. Make sure that it's turned on. The second input will be a virtual input. I'll give it a name, make sure it's enabled. I'll give it a name. Introduce an R gate. And a virtual output. contact output. <coughs> we'll connect to the operate. We'll introduce some LEDs. So this is the idea here. And we'll call this, double click on it, I'll give it a name. We'll rename the virtual output as well. So we can go ahead and do some alignment here. All right, we'll do some alignment here at the top as well. this way as well. Horizontally. And now let's go ahead and duplicate the circuit. So I'm just doing a copy. And I'm just going to move everything down here. This will be my closed circuit. So this will now I'll change this. This will be another virtual input. This one will be my my close breaker. I'll 
for two. This one I'll delete. This is going to be a, a manual close. So I'll use a contact input. I'll go with a different LED completely. Go into the second column. This is my closed circuit. And my contact output will be my breaker close. And there's our entire circuit. So let's go ahead and compile. Let's confirm our contact inputs. Just going to adjust the threshold, make sure it's correct for what I need. And then now we can save the settings to the relay. Let's go into monitor mode. Let's verify that the overcurrent condition is working. We can test the virtual input circuit as well. We can also verify the, the closed circuits working, a close switch three. Go ahead and close switch one. Turn off switch one and then I'll close virtual input number two. And then that shows us that that circuit is complete as well. The output uh, output contactor has also closed. So we see which LEDs are switched on as well.